Missions of Madness. Hello, welcome back. It's episode four. We are almost in the home straight. It's Missions of Madness. And today I am once again joined by someone whose favourite place is Florida. It's Chelsea Buxton. Hello, Hello, Chelsea. We are also joined by someone whose favourite place is Disneyland. It's Jacob Parkin. Hello. Good afternoon. And finally, we are joined by someone whose favourite place is Flanborough. Yeah. It's Millie Abrahams. Hello, Millie. Hey. Tell us a bit about Flamborough. I've not heard about it. You've before. never heard about Flamborough? No. Right, so all the way from my childhood, we uh, we had a, a friend who had a caravan there, so I, I would literally go like two, three, four times a year to Flamborough. And what's so amazing about it is that Flamborough, it's bang on in the middle, so it's like a 10 minute drive to Bridlington, a 10 minute oh, drive right, to Filey. Okay. And then there's a, if you keep going down, there's Flamborough Head. And it's one of the most beautiful places you'll ever see in your life. And me and my granddad used to go caving in there when we were younger. And I've just got loads of memories from me, of me nan and that there. And there's a very nice pub there as well. I love it. Well, that's always an added bonus in it. Chelsea, <laughs> when did you go to Florida? Um, I went about, well, I've been twice actually. I've been two years ago and I went back in like 2008. And we both, we did the... Um, the Universal Parks and the Disney Worlds and everything. Bloody, yeah, all of that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there's and me with Flambridge. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, joking. Um, Disneyland. When did you go to Disneyland? Um, last year. It's summer. Oh, lovely, um, lovely, fun. lovely. So, episode four, I can't believe we're episode over halfway four. already. It feels like we've hardly been doing this at all. And it's been a little bit of time since we recorded the last episode. Yeah. So, I hope we're all raring to go for today. <laughs> ooh, ooh. We're going to start talking about mission number seven. And Millie, can you tell our lovely listeners what that mission was? So the mission was to create the most interesting sandwich. Very unusual challenge, a bit different compared to what we've done in yeah. the previous episodes. I struggled with this. You I tried to, I had, I had one idea and it, went, it didn't happen, so I had to yes. improv. Jacob, you had a few strange ideas, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, Chelsea, <laughs> and how, how did you feel about this task? Um, I find it quite difficult. and I had an idea, but then I had to scrap it and start again. So Okay. A little bit different for this task because we actually recorded the first half earlier on, well, late on, last week. So now I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to say, Connor in the past, over to you. Hello, Connor from the future. I am sat here with Millie and Jacob. It Hello. is Thursday. Thursday. Um, it's very nice. I'm sure you can remember it. Thursday is a cold day. Um, hopefully, it's a bit warmer it's been, for you. It's snowing, Baldy. Has it been snowing? Yeah, it's snowing. I hope I get home today. Honestly, well, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get home. You'll be able to tell us on Monday <laughs> <laughs> whether you did get home. That's if you're there at all. Um, right, so we're going to go into the task. We've we've just said that the task was to produce the most interesting sandwich. Should we have a look at yours first, Millie? So, mine's not ready yet. I want it to be personalised for you, Connor Love. So I don't know okay. if you remember, but last night I messaged you, didn't you did, I? Yes. Saying, what do you find the most interesting thing? Very cryptic message. So, let me tell you, I've got all the ingredients here. That's tasty. Okay, so basically I forgot to bring some Warburton's bread. So I'm having to use my actual uh, sandwich. So sorry, Mum, I'm not, I'm not eating sandwich today. I'm going to take the ham out. Oh, it's not ham, it's chicken. Okay, let's oh, take that nice. out a sec. Right. So, we've got a bread bun here for you, or a bread cake, but I'm just saying it so I don't get any hit. So, you told me that you really enjoy photography, didn't you? I love photography, So, yeah. this is the first ingredient for the sandwich. Oh. I've got a bit of your photography. Oh, lovely. A bit of layer of photography. Of okay, the, what, the, what pictures are they, Millie? Like? Can you just explain to the people at home? Uh, so, I don't, I don't know, they're a bit abstract, to be honest. So, that, one, not what you, you that one's in Sheffield. Me. That's um, based on an artist called Michael Hughes. Mm -hmm. And that's a bit of Photoshop editing, that one. This one's my favourite thing you've done, actually. I love this that one. is like a, it's like a cube of. Is that that thing from Sheffield? But no, they're actually. Um, that's Titanic Belfast. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, museum. I've got that one clearly wrong there. That's clearer than printed it on A4. Yeah. <laughs> That's come out clearer than the bigger This print. is, uh, it's like a cube of like, it's like more industrial city sat in between some old mossy rocks. That's one of my favourites. So yeah, that's so, going on so, the sandwich. Yeah, it's a photo cube in a, a natural setting, yes. which is 
a bit strange, but I like it. Okay, Thank what's you. Next? So then also, you also told me, this is one of the things we've got in common, you enjoy End of the Effing World, yes? Lovely, So that's also yes. going on to the Connor sandwich. Great. So now... We also got some knowledge for you because we can all do we a bit of knowledge. Yes. I've got some books for you. Yeah. Oh, this right, is the okay. history of cinema for beginners. Very I know, interesting. I know you're not much of a beginner. You're getting there now, but it don't uh, it don't uh, uh, having a bit of a read because I know you're into cinema. Great. Cinematography, okay. Whatever it's got there. We got that's another layer on sandwich. And now we've also got the theatre. A uh, little bit of, it, bit, bit of history about the theatre, all oh, that. You lovely. really enjoy that, don't you? That's another layer yeah. of the sandwich. And that's the Connor. <laughs> oh, and, and, and the other half of the bread. What about, I see you've got, what's that meat you've got there that should have been in your sandwich? Uh, is it chicken? Do you like chicken? Is it chi yeah, I love chicken. So oh, put a well. bit of that bastard on there oh, as well. No. There you go. No, it's edible. So, can you just, just no, it's edible. let's review this. Tell me what's in this again. So, we've got some, some of your photography. Yeah. We've got End of the Effing World. Yeah. And then we've also got a, a cinema book, because yeah, we know that you love a bit of cinema. And we've got the theatre uh, book. I don't actually know. What's it called? A Concise History, third edition. So it's something to do with the... <laughs> and we've also got a bit of chicken and stuffing on top. So Ooh, nice. there you go. That's a smack your bitch up on a customised sandwich. That is brilliant. That is literally Thanks. everything I love whacked I into one sandwich. Right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move Test that to one side for now. Thanks. And we'll, um, we'll have a look at Jacob's for now. <laughs> Right, um, Jacob. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Just explain to me what you've brought. You have a very I've brought, suspicious package I've brought here on the table. An edible sandwich, rather than. Mm. Okay. Well, no, ra not rather than interesting. It's simple but interesting. All right. Okay. It's only got two things on it. Like me. Two things. Yeah, that's you. Simple, simple but interesting. Simple but interesting. Well, I'll try to be. Right. <laughs> so, right. I'll wrap Suspense it. is real. I'll wrap it. I'll wrap it. You look like a child on Christmas morning. I feel. I like know what's in it though. <laughs> A bit of ASMR for the viewers. <laughs> Take your time, Jacob. It's all right. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. that looks. What that looks is it? Very interesting. Right. Healthy that bread looks like as well. Something what, do you a want, stoner would make. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to guess what it is? Or do you want me to tell you what it is? Can I? Can I have a look and yeah. and see if I can guess oh, from? I've got four pieces. I'm going to have a bit because I enjoyed it when I met it. No, I've, I've got no <laughs> idea, but I am going to take a picture of it for the Instagram. All right, I'm really good trying not to swear here, but what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, so do, you, do you want me to tell you? Or shall, oh, I? shall we taste um, it then try it? I think we should taste it okay, first. Okay, go on, go on. Because it. I fear that if you tell take us, piece, I won't want to try it. So we're each going to take a piece. I'm going to have a bit because I enjoyed it. <laughs> it smells interesting. That is... Oh, where's Millie doesn't approve. I like it. Where's the Where's the bim? It's halfway across the room. What is that? Uh, um, I like it. Man. That's got peanut butter in it. I know that. Yeah. I don't know what meat is that? Is that beef? Yeah. <laughs> it's good as a peanut butter and beef sandwich. Peanut butter and beef. Well, <laughs> I was inspired. <laughs> but no, I I am actually more inspired for this. I had a burger with peanut butter on. Oh, and that was really what? nice. Where was that? A homemade burger company. Where Handmade that? burger company. Oh, really? Mm. What were it like? That's interesting. They were nice. They were nice, but it, it didn't just have like peanut butter and burger. It had like cheese and chili jam on it as well. Well, sorry, but I do I not think it's not that. too bad. No, you know, I do. It's certainly a strange flavour, but it's interesting. You could say it's like. Two courses in one, isn't it? Sorry, Mary Berry. It's a bit dry. <laughs> I can't, honestly. It's a bit dry, isn't it? It is a bit dry, that's that what I'd say. I'm, I'm, I'm I, nearly, do approve. I, do I nearly approve. put some sweet chili sauce on it, but I thought no. that would be overkill. That would have been too Listen, right, no yeah. offence, I'm a proper foodie, but that, I have ate at some places, I've ate at lovely places, I've ate, I've ate at bad places, but that has got to be one of the weirdest things I've put in my gob. And I've had so some not weird worst, stuff in my but mouth. weirdest. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, okay, so we've tried your sandwich, Jacob. I think it's time to try I'm still Millie's. enjoying it. Um, so, <laughs> no way. Uh, no, <laughs> not no. with all that paper. So, <laughs> on review of what we've seen so far, we have had Jacob's <laughs> beef and peanut butter sandwich. Um, strange, interesting, yes. But nice. But no. okay, <laughs> but okay. And Millie's, yours certainly um, is great. It has mm. all the things I love. A bit of photography, a TV show I love, and um, some books on topics I'm interested in. Plus some chicken. Um, yeah. <laughs> and stuffing. And, and stuffing. stuffing, stuffing um, in here, yeah. 
So yeah, I think they're two great contenders, but we'll have to find out. We're gonna have to wait till um, after the break. Oh. We'll hand back over. <laughs> we'll hand back future. over to Connor in the future. Future Connor, over to you. Thank you very much, past Connor. Um, we are going to go on to Chelsea Buxton now. Chelsea, I know you've got a little bit of a story about your sandwich. Could yeah. you just tell us what happened with that? Um, well, I actually made it ready for today, but my sister ate it for a tea last night. Oh. So I don't have it on me. So I've had to. Uh, so at break time, I managed to draw it up. So you've got a rough idea of what it would have looked like if it had made it here and not. Can we still All taste right. it? Brilliant. Yeah, do you want to get it out and show us then? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, I love the taste of paper. <laughs> well, we, we, we tried a lot of paper in Millie's. So it's like a rough little drawing I did. <laughs> okay, this looks right. nice. Yeah, so the idea behind it was basically my dad were away the whole this week and my mum couldn't be bothered to cook. So okay. we ordered takeaway every week, every single day. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so, can I come round to your house? <laughs> yeah, she couldn't be bothered to cook. So the idea is, um, do you know like in a baguette you have lines on it, don't you? Yeah. Each like separate bit is a different type of takeaway. Like, that was the oh, idea. Okay, so it's like three meals in yeah. one sandwich. Yeah. So oh, so, I like that. So what I did was I bought a baguette and toasted it and everything, and we had one section that was like pizza. We had another section which was the Chinese food, and then another section which was Indian. So it's like oh each God. bite is a different. I wonder if did your sister eat that? <laughs> you met my sister. <laughs> no, I have. <laughs> <laughs> just... That's all I have to say. Well, I suppose the uh, the real question is, did she enjoy it? She did enjoy it. Good. Did she? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she did. Word, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Oh my God. I only wish that we could have a try. Yeah. That would have been lovely. But the, especially the, since it's lunchtime now. Yeah. The, oh. Well, the Chinese bit had um had a chicken chow mein on it, and then the Indian bit had a chicken korma on it, and the oh pizza God. bit had a um, pepperoni. It had chicken, it had sweet corn, all different bits on it as well. All so. right. Could you just explain to me what this thing is here? That's a mushroom. A what? A mushroom. A like mushroom. Wow, yeah. it's not mushroom. A mushroom. Yeah. Right, that's definitely putting you down the table. <laughs> and you're putting. Did it have a mushroom in it? It did. Oh my, if you don't like mushrooms, oh. you need to grow up. Oh. They're disgusting. Are, no, they're I hate them. No, mushrooms are I brilliant. Mean, mushro mushrooms are all right when they're in something. But you like well, their own well it depends. All right then, okay. Cooked. So we'll pretend that we, we'll, we'll scribble the mushrooms. If you out. if you it if you exist. two both like mushrooms, I'll pretend they're not there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not on their own. If you okay. don't like well, mushrooms, we need to all grow, oh, grow up. Okay, <laughs> Come on, they love lovely. Yeah, they're really funny guys. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Jacob. <laughs> oh my God, that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, well, see that tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally tell on the recording, there's just that silence where it's like through the tumbleweed. Oh, I can't wait to hear that for silence. Normally you don't like it. Put a sound effect in. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in silence. Right, um, <laughs> I, think, I think we'll leave it there and we shall review the scores for mission number seven. Um, again, a great round. I, I definitely don't dislike any of them. However... There is one that stands out slightly as my least favourite. <laughs> oh, I wonder. And do you know what? I think we all know which one's come last. So I'm going to count down from three and then we're all going to say the name of the person who's come last, okay? Three, two, one, Jacob! Jacob! <laughs> Jacob, you, know, you, get, from, <laughs> you get one point. Um, I thought it was nice, man. Right. You then, thought that was nice. really you interesting. Get, you need to go get checked for it. It was strange. Right. Connor, it, it was oh, edible, please. but it was strange. A bit dry. Um, interesting, sort of. Um, <laughs> this is tricky now because we've had the Connor sandwich that really, really does sort of personify everything that I love and is interesting to me. And then we've had a very good idea from Chelsea. So... Because of the fact that your sister ate your sandwich, Chelsea, you're going to come second, and oh, I'm going to give you yeah. two points. Yes. So, Millie, you're going to get three points. That means, Chelsea, you have my full permission to tell your sister off, because if <laughs> you had that sandwich, I am sure you would have won that round. Okay, oh. you would have won that. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got a message from uh, Santa. A message from Santa? Oh, yeah. from, from the last yeah. episode, okay. Sorry, it's through the... Uh, no, it's alright, because we're halfway through but, the show uh, now, so found, in the interval. Yeah, he, uh, he, found, he found out that he came second 
and he said that you're not going out for Christmas this year. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoops. Um, tough. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Did you actually say yeah, that? Actually said that oh, him, that's yeah. hilarious. Is he a listener? Well, uh, I just told him. Oh, well, if you, if, you get him, if you get him to listen to this, we'll all say hello to him now. Hello, Santa Claus. Hi, Daddy Hi. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving swiftly on to mission number eight. Oof. Okay, you don't know what this is yet, do you? Like the previous tasks that have been in the second half of the episodes, you do have to think on your feet for this one. So I am going to get the envelope out now. Ooh. It's a oh, lovely it's number eight on the front of it. <laughs> okay, so your task is, it says, tell me one of your pet peeves. Oh. So this task oh, no. is going to be a little bit like Room 101, if any of you have seen that. No, I've never heard of it. The yes. Um, yes. lovely Frank Skinner in it. Yeah. Um, all I want you to do is to spend about a minute, tell me about something that really, really gets on your nerves and pitch it to me. Okay? So, Jacob, you look quite prepared. Yeah, so I'm not prepared. I think one. we'll go to you first. Yeah. All right. Okay. Jacob, what is your pet peeve? Rat dogs. Rat what? dogs? Yeah, you know... What are like, rat dogs? You know what? Well, it's like it's like, like chihuahua-type dogs. Just them little ones. <laughs> All right, okay. Sometimes they're, like, got no fur like a chihuahua, but sometimes they're, like, a ball of fur. And they just really annoy me because they're, like, stupid. How? You, you just want to kick him, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, yeah, RSPCA. Um, we do have a dog kicker in the building if you want to come and get them. Um, well, all right, Jake. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure you are allowed to say that, but you've gone and said it. Um, have you ever had a run-in with a so-called rat oh, dog? Oh, well, I've never kicked one. <laughs> uh, good. Which, I mean, it's quite an achievement because I have a strong desire to. <laughs> Jacob. That's not against all dogs. I do like big dogs. Big dogs. Okay. I'm what what, what, big dog what sort of big dogs do you oh, like? like? Any Labradors particular and Labradors? And synthetic Labradors. Yeah, synthetic that, Labradors. That are that grown make, in factories. That make wigs. Yeah. That make wigs. <laughs> 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 um, um, but yeah, no, they just they just annoy me because they just it's like it's like when you see um when you see it's obviously it's like a family dog and it's a, it's like a little tiny one that's all fluffy and stuff and then you see like the dad walking it. And it just looks oh, really, like a really, really, really masculine just, yeah. man. <laughs> and you just see him walking with this a tiny dog. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, right. I, I, I agree with that. Um, definitely, rat dogs, will they be going into room one? Should we call it room 102 for this task? To <laughs> look off room 101. Will rat dogs room, make it into room, room 102? MOM. Oh, yes. Room MOM, <laughs> Room Missions of Madness. Oh, I didn't Will understand that. Will rat dogs it make it, it into Room Missions of Madness? Room, room mom. We'll find out after we've <laughs> listened to the next two. I think we'll talk to you, Millie, next. Oh, no. I've got that many that I can't narrow any down. Okay, well, you have to pick one for me. So what do you think, what do you think I will agree with the most? Right, okay. One of my pet peeves are judgmental people. Just in general, like if you're sat in a common room or if you're on a night out and you're just having a laugh, we are friends and people are just sat there bitching, it pisses, it gets right on me record. It does, it really, really, really annoys me. I don't know why you're looking at me like that, Jacob. Yeah, you just, you just said you'd kick a dog, mate. Are you judging me? <laughs> <laughs> you hypocrite. So literally, Millie, what you hate is people who are doing my, my job in this podcast and judging. Um, no, not that kind of judging. Oh, I mean, I mean, right, this is, this, when you're dancing in a club, having a time of your life, and then there's two people sat in a corner sipping on 20 quid bloody gin and tonics, and they're just sat there talking about you while you're having a good time, and they're just sat and just bitching. I can't be doing with it. Uh, I, I do understand really, really the sort get of people you're on about, and I do agree with you because... You know, they're just horrible, aren't they? Yeah. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> they probably kick dogs as well. Yeah, they're probably wow, dog, dog kickers. Yeah, but rat dog kickers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, rat dogs, judgmental people. Nastily judgmental people. Nastily? <laughs> yeah, we're all a bit... Ju- oh, listen, we all judge... change it, man. No, what? Nastily <laughs> judgmental people, okay. And Chelsea Buxton, it's your turn. 
Right, so mine is, do you know when people are eating and they make really loud noises? Do you know when oh, they tune wow. with a mouth open? Yeah, like that. Mm. Like you were, when you were eating your pasta that time. Uh, yes, <laughs> in episode Why two. Why is everyone bullying me this week? Pasta in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that really Sorry. annoys me. Because you can't, you just sat there wanting to eat nicely and then you've just got someone slurping in the corner. It, oh, it's, oh, it's horrible. What's the worst foods for it? Oh, pas oh. Pasta's got oh. a bit worse. <laughs> pasta? Pasta's pasta. quite bad. Do you know the could cheesy, you... creamy pasta yeah. as well? Ooh. You could just hear them like slurping it up. It's horrible. Oh, it's people who eat like soup off the side of the spoon. Oh, you, know, like, go... you know like oh, old yeah. fashioned people? Yeah. You know like when your grandma's like, eh, you've got to eat your soup properly. And you go, <laughs> Oh, oh God, I hate oh it. God. Just want to pour hands for that soup all over her. <laughs> Shut up, Linda! <laughs> it's Linda! <laughs> oh, I do hate it, though. Right. <laughs> oh, I feel quite, I don't know, tense and frustrated. <laughs> you've, you've reminded me of all these things that are annoying. So, <laughs> in review, rat dogs, <laughs> judgmental people, uh -huh. who are overly judgmental, and audible eaters. Right. Reason behind that. <laughs> As a judgmental person, for the purpose of this podcast, Millie. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you, you dare. You're judging me. <laughs> One point. <laughs> You've come last, unfortunately. I'm going to drop... Uh... Jacob Parkin. Yes. I'm allergic to dogs. That's really annoying, isn't it? It's a right pet peeve. It is a pet... All dogs are pet peeve of mine. Yeah. Not just rat dogs. Well, I mean, I hate I didn't dogs. want to reveal that earlier, but I am, a, <laughs> I am I horrendously allergic to dogs. However... I knew that. <laughs> if I wasn't allergic to dogs, I do like dogs. Even rat dogs? <laughs> Even some rat dogs. Some? Which ones? So, Jacob, <laughs> you're going to come second. Second place for you get, dog kicker. You get two points today. Never that. You don't call me dog kicker. Chelsea, <laughs> you've already worked it out. That means you win this task. I hate audible eaters. Absolutely hate it. Eat with your damn mouth closed, I Jacob Parker. How are you meant to eat <laughs> no, with your mouth closed anyway? You need no, to. You're you're you know what I mean, though? Like, people when they're chewing, they go. You, you open it when you put the food in your mouth. You, you just close it when you're You chewing. did. I didn't do that. <laughs> if we go back to the podcast, you can hear him. To be, can you actually? To yeah. be completely honest, I, can't hear him. I did have to noise reduce that section yeah, exactly. of the podcast. Noise reduce. So I didn't do it that long. No, it was hard, <laughs> so I had to reduce it. <laughs> okay, so are we ready for the today's results? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiasm. That's what we love here on Missions <laughs> of Van Nurse. Yeah. Okay, um... <laughs> We'll start with the person in third place, as it's the most logical. <laughs> no, it's not. I think we could probably work it out for ourselves without can't, doing the maths. I can't remember anything. Jacob, yeah. you served <laughs> us so. a beef and peanut butter sandwich, mm. and then spoke about rat dogs. You got <laughs> three know, points overall, and you came in last place today. That's not bad. <laughs> no, it's not I bad, Jacob. Third. It's terrible. Just say third. It sounds so much Second better. loser. <laughs> <laughs> Second okay, um, <laughs> Millie, you got four points. Yeah. Chelsea Buxton, you got five points. Chelsea yes. wins. Well done, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> four episodes four done episodes, and dusted. Yeah. Give us custard. I'm I'm sad. We've got two episodes <laughs> left. Make sure you all stay tuned at home and make sure you give us a nice follow on the Instagram page at Missions of Madness where I shall try and share pictures of the sandwiches as well as some other extra bits that I may be cut out from some shows. So make sure you stay tuned anyway. Remember you can listen to this podcast on YouTube at Connie Gilmore and on SoundCloud or at Connie Gilmore as well. So um, that brings us to the end of the show. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Millie. Thank you, Jacob, for joining me once again in our lovely studio in this random art room at school. And we shall see you all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.